A coronavirus vaccine, that's what the whole world is waiting for at this moment, as almost 15 million people worldwide have been infected by the novel coronavirus. Two studies have shown positive results in the search for that vaccine. Today, in our crossover to Germany, we focus on the search for a vaccine, as one, we're told, could even be ready for use as early as the end of this year. Imanol Chase is corresponded with our partners, DW. She's joining me all the way from Germany. Imanol, it's good to see you. Let's begin with what we know about that potential vaccine. Well, Gifty, two studies have shown positive results, with one being currently developed by Oxford University in the United Kingdom, which could be uh, made available by the end of this year, just like you said. Uh, this uh, vaccine has already been uh, licensed uh, by regulators, and there has been a strong antibody and T-cell immune response in the early stage uh, clinical trials uh, that were conducted on a thousand people in the UK. And there's also a, uh, another study, a separate trial similar to uh, that that was conducted by uh, the University of Oxford that was conducted this time in China on 500 people and most of those people uh, have developed a very strong antibody uh, immune response. Hmm. That sounds interesting and so it looks like there is hope but it also comes with a caution. Exactly. There's very cautious optimism there. The leader of the Oxford project, Sarah Gilbert, uh, said that there is absolutely no certainty as to whether or not uh, the vaccine could be made available as early uh, as the end of this year. That's what everyone is hoping for. But this will depend on further tests uh, proving its effectiveness. Um, we'll also need to see whether or not it will be uh, feasible, it will be possible to produce it at a large scale. And there will also be the need, uh, I talked about a license that has been uh, granted but there will also uh, have to be a license for emergency used use and that will be decided by regulator also the director of the World Health Organization's health emergency program uh, Mike Ryan said um, that of course this was very good news but there was still a long way uh, to go he also uh, highlighted the fact that there's a need for a large scale trial worldwide Mm. Well, here in Ghana, I know that there have been attempts to look into this, some, some you know, work has gone on, but I know also that Germany laboratories have been credited with progresses in the race to find a vaccine. Where does, uh, where does research stand now in, in Germany? Well, German laboratories uh, have been at the forefront of the research for a vaccine ever since the beginning of the pandemic. And the firm uh, BioNTech has revealed uh, that there were promising results in clinical trials with a, a T cell immune uh, response in those trials. And the German laboratory uh, revealed that they have concluded a first delivery agreement with the US company Pfizer. Uh, it's not an agreement with the US government, or uh, nor does it entail exclusive rights for the US. US markets uh, and BioNTech also uh, signed an agreement with Brazil to further test the vaccine against uh, COVID-19. Also, according to a German researcher, Stefan Kaufmann, who uh, actually in the 90s uh, had developed an anti-tuberculosis vaccine, there could also be a link uh, between tuberculosis vaccine and a vaccine for COVID-19. So a lot of uh, promising developments here on the vaccine from coming from Germany. Well, to be cautious is just like you're saying, promising development, that also comes with a caution. But it does excite me. I don't know if the German people or other European people around you, I mean, what sort of response has this received? Excitement? Well, of course, I mean, uh, 15 million people, almost 15 million people have been infected uh, worldwide. So everyone is really hoping for a vaccine. And since uh, German laboratories have been really uh, working for it ever since the beginning of the pandemic, everyone, everybody here hopes uh, for a positive development. So those are all good news, of course, to take with caution. But uh, it gives some hope. And it's also very welcome at a time where, you know, everybody uh, here in Europe and worldwide, of course, have been uh, completely shaken, completely worn out, worn out by uh, the pandemic. So those types of news, even if they're still uncertain, well, they're, uh, they're cheering, cheering up the mood here, I would say. Even if it's uncertain, it certainly gives some hope. Imanol, thank you for today. Imanol Chase is corresponding with our partners, DW. Uh, she joined me all the way from Germany here on The Pulse in our usual weekly crossover to that country.